Hey guys, it's time to do a full review of the Android O, which I've just flashed on my Google Pixel XL. A lot of people are saying it's gonna be called as Oreo. We don't really know what the name will be. We don't really know what the version will be. Uh, most probably 8.0. Let's start this review with the lock screen. So the major change with this Android O update is of course, with the notification, they have improved it a lot. So as you can see, I have like three notifications. And if I get like more than three, I will get like sort of an icon of that application notifications so it will be looking like this if I just swipe them up as you can see so you know you're gonna you're gonna notice these small icons so uh, you'll be able to uh, see which application you know notification is down here when you have a lot of applications so uh, application notification on your lock screen we also have the way to unlock the phone of course and then going into camera or you can go into Google Assistant now you can actually customize the, the lock screen shocker so which I'm gonna show you guys later in this review so unlocking the phone of course we have uh, the pixel pixel UI look of course course you can swipe up from anywhere to launch the app drawer and notice the nav bar buttons you know when I open the app drawer they turn black and that is something a bit of a new thing we have with the Android o. also taking a look at uh, the notification of course again like I said when we see when we'll see a lot of notifications you'll see uh, a bit of uh, small icons here down here and of course with one swipe you get all your toggles with the a second swipe it'll expand and now we have like a a uh, small line here, uh, which is for expanding the settings. So that is really, really good. We have our brightness slider and our ability to customize the, these quick toggles. So you can, of course, unlock the system UI tuner by pressing and holding on this gear button. So that is same as the uh, previous Nougat. So going into the app drawer, most of the applications are the same, like almost all of them are the same, but they have changed the name for the application that was that was previously called as download now it's called as files so it's pretty much the same as downloads as you can see it will show you your downloads your recent files audio video images on your phone but now they just renamed it to the files if we hold down the display of course we have the uh, settings and uh, settings widgets and wallpaper options going into settings you can set up uh, home screen rotation if you want to rotate that some normal stuff going on. There is a huge, huge change to the uh, overall settings. We have a huge UI change. The best thing that I liked about these settings is when you go into a certain option, it shows you the most basic and the most important stuff first. For example, in display, we have brightness, wallpaper, night light, which is the night mode thing, and then sleep. And then if you want to check out more options, you have this advanced tab, uh, which shows you more options like your font, your display. Uh, your screen saver ambient display same thing if I go into sound basic stuff first advanced stuff down here so it's a it's a really really good uh, overall change to the UI going into storage you can see uh, the new look you can manage your storage instead of the about phone they have added system which includes the about phone and a couple of other uh, you know useful options like developer options system update resetting your device so going into about phone you can see it says Android version O and this is the logo we have with the Android version O some people say that's like a very similar to like Google Chrome logo uh, but uh, yeah that's that so a couple of options here uh, now going into the uh, system back again and going into system UI tuner so uh, first of all you can see that as we have some normal options that were like before but now we have the option for navigation bar so now with the Android O we can customize these nav bar keys so first of all we have the layout you can have it compact or if you're a lefty then you can have it on left leaning if you're a a righty then you can have it on right leaning so uh, you know it's, it's going to be really really uh, convenient for those people who have small hands so uh, I'm just going to have it on normal there's an option for extra left button type so you can have it clipboard key cord keyboard switcher or have it on none and same thing for the extra right button so uh, quite a lot of changes uh, for the nav bar and then of course my favorite which is ability to add uh, customized uh, lock screen shortcut so uh, with the left shortcut you can see I have a lot a lot of quick uh, quick shortcuts for example uh, my favorite would be to launch YouTube with the left one 
It also unlocks the phone and with the right shortcut, I can have it to launch Google Chrome. So now you can see if I quickly lock my phone, as you can see, I can launch Google Chrome. I can also launch YouTube. So it works pretty fine. Obviously it is in current beta stage. I mean, it's a developer preview, so you can't expect uh, everything to work flawlessly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for me, it has been really smooth. Like I haven't seen like a major problem. Everything works fine. Also when your display is locked like this and you see the notification, you can actually double tap it to, um, you know, uh, wake your phone up and see that notification. You can, you know, tap it again to go straight through it. I have to say it's pretty nice and uh, it is uh, very similar to the always on mode we have with the Samsung devices. But obviously uh, that that is like a bit more advanced thing because I mean, it's always on, you know, it's always there. So of course we have a lot of under the hood changes with the Android O, for example, the background limit, uh, which limits the application to not eat up your juice that much. And it's gonna give you a more battery and it's like next level stuff compared to the previous dose on the Nougat. Uh, you also get wider color gamut for the applications. You know, if you have a phone like Google Pixel XL, obviously uh, it, has a, it has a beautiful quad HD display, so you know, apps will be able to utilize all those colors with that wide color gamma sport there's like a password api support uh, a new xml font support for developers so they can change the font with their application adaptive uh, icons lots of great under the hood changes uh, with the android of course uh, like I said, this is a developer preview, not even a beta. So if you want to install it, then you have to download the, the, the firmware file and install it manually. So for that, you also have to unlock your bootloader. So I've done that to install it on my Google Pixel XL. So yeah, that is a full review of the Android O on my Google Pixel XL. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or if you want to see a speed test, let me know in the comment section below. We can have some fun time with the Android O while we have it on the Pixel XL. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.